What? Uh, something's come up. I can't get out of it. I'm wearing the shirt. Uh, Mum's getting sausages. <laughs> oh, yeah, and guess what? She's wearing the shirt as well. Oh, Dad, it is so embarrassing. Um, yeah, what did you say about coming home? I won't be back for the match. I'll, uh, I'll have to listen to it on the radio. Oh. Dad, you said you'd be back. It's rubbish on the radio. Mum's doing sausages and all. Is your brother there? Yeah, do you want a word? No, uh, just tell... You just tell your mother to call me when she gets back. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sure. I love you. What? Uh, it's okay. You know what? Just, uh, just get her to call me when she gets back. Yeah. Thank you. Sure, all right. Bye. Bye, Dad. The premise of the new film, Lock, sounds contrived, and it is. It sounds like a stunt, and it is that too. It sounds like it might be boring, but it's anything but. This is a film that will hold you in your seat, keep you glued to the screen for its entire 85 minutes. I know it's 85 minutes because this is a real-time movie where we sit in a car with a man named Ivan Locke and watch as he deals through his cell phone with crisis after crisis after crisis. For a film like this to be involving, it needs a really strong performance by the only actor you see on the screen, the actor playing Ivan Locke. In this case, it's Tom Hardy, who was memorable as Bane, the evil presence in the last Dark Knight film. Tom Hardy holds our eyes absolutely. We are with this character every step of the way, and you can't ask for more than that. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.